about 30% of people are at risk of dying from clot-related disease, and half of these cases are preventable. In this video we will explain the top 5 early warning signs and symptoms of blood clot, which leads to a heart attack, stroke or pulmonary embolism. We will also cover the best blood test to check for blood clot risks, and share tips how to prevent blood clots. A blood clot is a gel-like structure that forms inside a blood vessel. Clots are essential for stopping bleeding, but when a clot obstructs the blood vessel of a vital organ, it leads to insufficient oxygen supply and the organ begins to die. That's why it can be life-threatening. A clot in the heart is called heart attack, in the brain it is called stroke, and in the lung it is known as pulmonary embolism. One of the earliest signs of blood clot risk is swelling in the legs or arms. Especially when it is swollen without physical trauma, this is a sign of deep vein thrombosis. The problem is that this clot in the leg can be dislodged and travel through the bloodstream to the lungs blocking blood flow and causing the death lung tissue, which if left untreated can be fatal. A second sign is unexplained pain and tenderness in the limbs, usually in one leg. The pain is typically constant, the skin may be warmer in the affected area compared to surrounding skin. This is also a sign of deep vein thrombosis. These signs are more common in overweight individuals, people over the age of 60, and those who are not physically active. Sometimes pregnancy and birth control pills also increase the risk of thrombosis in young people. Third sign is chest pain that occurs during physical exertion or stress, presenting as a sense of pressure, fullness, squeezing in the center of the chest. Pain can spread to the left hand shoulder or jaw, it is called pain radiation. It lasts for several minutes and usually goes away with rest or intake of nitroglycerin. These symptoms is called angina, can occur long before a heart attack. Chest pain due to heart disease is more common in people with high cholesterol level, in smokers and those with hypertension, obesity and a sedentary lifestyle also significantly increase the risk. A fourth sign is sudden weakness in one side of the body, including the face, arm or leg. This weakness can be accompanied by numbness or speech difficulties, such as slurred speech or difficulty understanding others. These symptoms are considered warning signs of a full-blown stroke and are called transient ischemic attack. If symptoms last more than one day, it is already a stroke and the brain will be permanently damaged. After these transient symptoms, there is a significant risk of stroke within the next two days and sometimes within the first three months. Fifth sign is hypertension. High blood pressure damages arteries over time due to high pressure and increases the risk of blood clot formation. Hypertension increases the risk by around 40% compared to those without hypertension. Blood pressure that exceeds 140 to 90 mg mercury is considered a risk factor for clot formation. So the goal is to maintain blood pressure below 140. Now let's discuss which blood tests can detect early signs of blood clot formation. A blood cholesterol and lipid profile provides valuable information to assess the risk of clot formation. If cholesterol and low density lipoproteins are high, it significantly increases the risk of future clot formation, stroke and heart attack. Fibrinogen is another important test. When it's elevated, it indicates inflammation on the artery walls and heightened risk of clot formation. The D-dimer test is also crucial. D-dimer is a product released during the dissolving of blood clots. Elevated D-dimer levels suggest active clot formating in the body, increasing the risk of stroke and heart attack. 
For preventing of blood clotting, physical activity is one of the key preventing measures. A heart healthy diet also decreases the risk of clot forming, such as whole grains, lean proteins, and omega 3 fatty acids. Fish like salmon and sardines, which contains omega 3s, are especially beneficial. Managing weight and controlling high blood pressure are also considered key in preventing clots. In patients at risk of clot formation, such as those with atrial fibrillation, blood thinners are prescribed 